Today, I use a fork. I use a fork. And I use a fork. What's good? It's the Hunter Hoffman Bethany and Steak Contents! In this video, I received a package. I just can't remember what it's for. See what I did there? So let's see what happened. Now, what was this again? I, I can't remember. Um, seems to be kind of a fork. Ah, I guess it's not a tuning fork. What is it? Hmm, has a weird metal flavor to it. Ah, uh, oh, god damn it. I guess it's not an eating fork. I mean... Can it? Nah, that's not it. Oh, right. That's what it's for. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the outer ball joint of the Mini Cooper. To do so, we're going to jack up the car and remove the front wheels. Alright, so this is a look at the crusty old, well, everything. But this will be the part that we're going to replace. As you can see, it's all a bit crusty and rusty because of the Dutch weather the car has endured. So let's hope to not run into issues. Alright, so with a 16mm we're first going to loosen the brake caliper. There are two bolts holding it down. Alright, so after undoing the brake line from the clip, we let the brake caliper rest on the tire so not to stress the brake line. So then it's a matter of removing the brake disc retainer before removing the brake disc altogether. This provides good access to the outer ball joints. So then we apply liberal amounts of penetrating oil, because as you could have seen this stuff is quite rusty, then giving it a quick go with a wire wheel. So with the breaker bar we're now going to undo the bolts connecting the ball joint to the swivel bearing. Next up, also with the breaker bar, we're going to remove the bolt connecting the ball joint to the lower control arm.
So for our next trick, we're going to use the fork to separate the ball joint from the lower control arm. We stick it in there and bash it as hard as we can with a hammer. Eventually the ball joint will pop out. As you can see, the ball joint has separated from the control arm and it took quite some force. So next up is getting the stock ball joint out of the swivel bearing. To do so, I'm hitting the ball joint with the tip of the fork over here. As you can see, the ball joint starts to come loose. So there we go, the ball joint has finally been separated from the swivel bearing. Now we simply loosen the nut and remove it all together. As you can see here, the ball joint is pretty worn out. The boot is torn and it's relatively easy to move. Now if we compare that to the new one, this thing is rock solid. I was barely able to make it move. So after cleaning up with a wire wheel and a bit of brake cleaner, it's time to install the new ball joint. So we install these two new bolts and fasten them evenly so that the new ball joint enters the swivel bearing level. Then it's time to bust out the torque wrench and torque these puppies down to 56 newton meters. Then it's basically the same process when attaching the ball joint to the lower control arm. And that's our new ball joint installed. 
Now it's time to put everything back together, repeat the same process off camera on the other side, and call it a day. Alright, that was it. I hope you three people that watched this video liked it. If you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing. It would mean the world to me. Next time we're back on the M3. I know that's what you guys want to see, so please stick around. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time! So today we're going to replace the outer ball joint of the Mini Cooper. <laughs> Alright, so today we're going to replace the outer ball joint of the Mini Cooper. Obviously we're going to use this tool to do so. So let's quickly jack, so let's quickly jack up the car and... So let's quickly jack up the car and get... <laughs> So let's quickly jack up the car and get to work. So let's quickly jack up the car and get to work.